Hi. What a surprise. Yesterday we had an eruption in Geldingadalur and uh, as it happens, me and Gida were in uh, Reykjavik at the time and uh, what a scene. We're gonna try to get some shots from this. We were moments away from diving into a hot tub with our friends after a nice dinner when we got the call. The eruption had started. We happened to be in Reykjavik but we had already packed our camera gear and planned everything in case the eruption would start. Our mobile home was ready and we had been looking forward to this moment. It seems the government didn't expect heavy traffic of hikers since Geldingadalur is far away from the road system. But volcanic eruptions tend to get Icelanders excited, in a good way, not scared. Most importantly, one has to expect cold and rain conditions. There's no water in the area, so it's also important to bring water and uh, some snacks to keep up the energy. The walk back has proved difficult for some people, but thanks to the rescue teams, no serious accidents have happened so far. Oh my god! Wow! See that people are standing next to it. It was amazing to see the first signs of the eruption. After walking for more than two hours with about 300 yard climb, we saw a white smoke in the distance. Our legs started to move faster over the 800 year old mossy lava landscape and uh, it's only volcanic eruptions that can make uh, a photographer's heart beat this fast. Except perhaps uh, 15 kilos of uh, cameras and lenses. A geologist had uh, stated that the uh, eruption in Geldingadal Valley was tiny and sorry looking. Being sorry was not on our minds when we saw the spitting volcano and the red beautiful lava. Size doesn't matter. This was by far more beautiful eruption than Holohrein in 2014. The location is a small valley, reminding of the Roman Colosseum, where spectators can view the natural wonder from all sides, sitting on soft, mossy hills. This eruption is a feast for photographers and uh, a wonderful experience. When we arrived, about 50 people were already there, every single one smiling and everyone super happy. Many photographers were there finding gold with the motives, others holding the phone with live broadcast to Instagram and Snapchat and whatever. This was the day of the lava selfies. Some of you out there in the big world are possibly feeling sorry for us Icelanders because of the eruption. Oh my god, they will all die. No, Icelanders are not worried about the eruption. They are very excited to get this free advertisement for the tourist season after Covid. And uh, they are probably more worried about not having enough parking lots for everyone who wants to hike to the eruption. It's very difficult to describe how hot this is. I know you have heard about how hot lava is, but uh, standing here, feeling the heat, I'm almost afraid to burn the cameras. This is amazing, to say the least. Strong wind from the south made sure the smoke and the gas from the lava was not a danger. There's no doubt that in calm wind it can be very dangerous to go near the lava, so it's important to be aware at all times of the wind direction. The dangerous gases are uh, odorless and uh, they can knock one unconscious. In calm conditions, depressions in the landscape can have the dangerous gases looming on the bottom. There are people all over the place. People have been walking here. It takes at least two hours to walk here. Some of the photographers I've been speaking to here, I met some of my friends here. They have been four to five hours. And this is worth it. It's amazing. All day, people kept coming to the area. 
Some are not sensibly prepared and the media has been hammering on the fact that the walk to the area is not for everyone. It's only for experienced hikers. When this video is posted on day 3 of the eruption, the Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management is making a new marked hiking route to Geldingadalur, making the total hike shorter, only 7 kilometers. The area was closed on day 3, when about 1000 people hiked to the area, most of them well prepared, but some not so very well prepared, and uh, some not at all. And uh, the rescue teams were picking up hikers in the darkness all over the peninsula. Uh, this has been nothing but fantastic. We've been here for, uh, I don't know, time flies. Well, we haven't checked the time yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess three hours. And it's uh, starting to get dark, which means it's very nice to uh, photograph the lava like that. But uh, we have at least, well, I guess about two hours walking home to the car. And we don't want to do that in complete darkness. So we have to call this a day. But as you can see, this is not something you see every day. No, not it's even amazing. In Iceland. It's been a really nice and amazing day. Fantastic. Fantastic. It, it took us a really long time to come here today. Yeah. It was a At least quite two hours a yeah. In, in bad weather. Yeah. And uh, there's a Raining. lot of people here. But now it's okay because it's warm from the volcano. Oh yeah, that's one thing. We came here all wet after the rain yeah. and sweaty and uh, just standing for 15 minutes very close to the lava. Everything dry. It's really difficult to go home now because having this view you, you don't see every day and I, I, I really don't want to go well, home. We are but, lucky, yeah. But we have to because it will be dark soon. I hope you enjoyed to uh, be here with us today and uh, possibly we will be back here I don't know now we will go back and uh, check out our photos see what we have and uh, we, we will never know if there will be a volcano tomorrow like don't know this might be off tomorrow yeah. you never know but uh, it's time to go home yeah for safety <laughs> sake <laughs> I never believed I would be so close to this. Not that close. No. It's fantastic. No. Just fantastic. This view. Just now I can see at least 50 people around here. Yeah. And many airplanes and uh, yeah. helicopters. Yeah. If you want to see more of this, remember. Subscribe. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Thank you. What a view. Thank you. It's been a wonderful day.